that we can lift up your name. In spite of all the music that we have, I believe the Holy Spirit can still work irrespective of whatever I think that is happening around us. So if you can lift up your name, I'll be excited to be here. Uh, but I would say is that as said the Lord builds the house, the builder builds it there. It's 127. I said the Lord keeps watch over the city, the watchman watches, but in vain. I believe that all the things that we are doing, we are pretty good. We are good, we are coming together to, to show our support, to love and, you know, and the things that she's doing. But I also believe that the best gift we can give to her is not just our presence, but the gift of prayer. So from your heart, I want you to pray. Let's for 30 seconds or so. Pray that let this beginning end well. Let greater heights be achieved. I just want you to pray for the next 30 seconds. Let's pray. Let's pray. I want you to pray. We are using it as a point of contact to pray for this whole establishment. I want your hands to be stretched on her. Pray for this business. Pray. Some of the research works that we have done go to the Baum Library. There is a work that I did with another colleague of mine on why most Ghanaian businesses fail after the first generation. And I believe that we have every opportunity to rewrite the script. We can make it work, we can make it better, we can through the help of God there are so many things that we can do. So I just want you to stretch for a few hands. Let's pray that this will make a difference. That this will stand the test of time. That this will surely be a blessing to the generation. It will cut the right path for others to follow. That the entrepreneurial drive um, will be empowered, not just in here or with her, but the many people that will be inspired by her exploits as well. Yes, ma'am. Now we pray. Father, we stand together as your people, as your children, from different backgrounds, from different denominations, but when we come together, denominations don't matter. We stand as your children, we take cover in the blood and we speak as pertaining the oracles of you, our God. We pray for this business. We pray for your daughter, dear. We ask that, Father God, just as is written in scripture, that except you build, the builder builds in vain. Except you keep watch over the city, the watchman watches in vain. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, the verse number 9, says that you bless the works of our hands. We pray that you prosper this business. We pray that you favor their cause. We pray that they will move out of this place spiritually, physically. They will enlarge their coast. They will expand their territories. And Father God, you do mighty and greater works with them. We declare that even as we gather, no weapon formed or fashioned against you and this business shall prosper. Any time that will rise in judgment, we have condemned it. We pray and we take a comprehensive insurance in the blood. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We pray that the blood will make available unto you what your strength cannot bring to you. And when your voice cannot be heard, may the voice of the blood speak for you. Amen. May the voice of the blood drown any other voice that will be contrary or antithetical to what God will want to do with your life. Prosper on every side. Increase on every side. May this become a household name. May this be impactful. May this bring blessing to you and your generation. We pray for you that may the Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and bring you peace. As the east is separated from the west, so are you separated from any calamity or disaster. We say it is well with you in the name of the one who rules, reigns, and has regency. Christ Jesus, the son of the living God. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Diva. Come on, put your hands together for him one more time. Yeah, my favorite member of the side of the little gun. Make sure you have some of the TV on. Okay, I'm missing the bubble and you. Whoa, whoa, get you. But you move it and let you go. Whoa, whoa, get you. Okay, and then my mental, more plan part. Okay, and get in my way of the sound. I'm not the power in the video. We not be in, we not be in, we not be in. Get in, I'm a way of a 
Okay, so let's do this one for you. And no one had to say, this is a special one for the show, you know. Sexy ladies, wine like wine from the 80s. Wine forever, there's no maybe. Oh, I'm out when you call me honey. I guess you do to me. Let's go, 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 let's go
papa. That's right. Hello. Hi. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hands on. I'm so delighted to have you here this evening. Thank you for having my invitation. You know, it was often said that a journey of 1,000 miles begins with... Master, you don't know the kind of shots we are picking. You are also telling me what. Come back. That a journey of 1,000 ah. miles begins with a step. No, we don't know what I mean for me. Courage, determination, and perseverance. This is when we are going to come. I want to take you. I want to take you. I want to take you. I quite remember growing up in Comerica. <laughs> the Ashanti region of Ghana. I witnessed the suffering and experiences these real women who had potentials but didn't have people to help them go through. I noticed their plight because I was once part of them. And then I told myself that someday when I get the means, I will set up a vocational school to provide employment opportunities for these people. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. I see. It took me nine good years after being crowned for this miracle to realize this dream. I'm telling you this to reassure you that dreams do come true. So don't stop dreaming. Now, you ask me, what is the name of JJ? Because I get a lot of people asking me that question. JJ was born around the initials of my two children. That's my first child, JD, and my second child, Jason. JJ is a mother company that gave birth to Ms. Golden Stone, Ms. United Continent, JJ Productions. I say JJ Productions because whatever you see here today was organized by JJ Productions. Whatever you see from Ms. Golden Stone is a production of JJ. So we have a production house. That means if you are doing anything production and you contact us, we are always available to do that for you. And then now, today, we have Jewel Fashion School. You witnessed the fashion show. It is not just a fashion show. We now have Jewel Fashion School, which aims at producing a outfits in larger quantities. We aim at exporting these outfits, and also we aim at producing customized outfits for people. So irrespective of the location, you can contact us for your outfits. I stand here today again and introduce to you the big color of the company, I mean Hugo Rosé and Hugo Frizzanti. I am not just importing this wine into this country, but I hold, I'm the only person in Ghana that holds the franchise to sell these wine in Ghana. And it is straight from Germany. If you've tasted the wine, you will attest to the taste of it, the quality. I had a, li a, bit of, a little confrontation with a gentleman back there. He was complaining that yeah, it is too sweet. I think rosé should be a bit dry. Do you know what I told him? He said, hey, we may want dry wine. I said, okay, you take me out. Why do you take me out? It's because you want something. You have to buy me rosé. If rosé is what I want, regardless whether you like it or not, I want it and you know what you want and the only where you will get it together. So you will buy it. And I'm out of So if you like it, oh yes, you will buy rosé for your woman. Now, if you're a sweet tooth like myself, I recommend rosé wines for you. Now, we do wholesale. So if you own a distribution outlet and you need these wines, please, you can contact us. This is our office. And I also have a fashion school in there. We are not going to leave you out. After this, we can take a tour around the office for you to see to yourself what we're going to do here at J and J. Uh, sorry, at Group J and J. And then, like I said, because I was once part 
I was once part of the people that are classified as less privileged in this country. I will give scholarship to three less privileged people here. Every academic year. I mean every academic year. I think the only way that we can build this country is for us to invest in the human capital. It's not only about giving somebody money. Sometimes we think feeding people will break down the poverty rate in this country. The only way that we can alleviate poverty is teaching people how to fish for themselves. The youth, we are tired of youth for feeding us. Please, it is time for you to introduce us to something that can give us something that we can live on forever. Now, without boring you with my long speech, I would like to say thank you very much for honoring my invitation. I am so humbled to have you all here, and may God bless you. Thank you. Oh, come on, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 yes. So now we know this is the HQ of group J and J. Anything that she said, everything she said, once you need something from the company, you know where to come. Right here. Why would we open something that is not ours? It only makes sense for us to do Hugo. So uh, we're going to open our Hugos right now. Uh, we're counting down. Please don't shake it. We're counting down from 5 down to 0. So I take 5, you take 4, and we count down. 5, 3, 1, Papa!
You are welcome to another time with me on One TV and I for Excellence. We are the on, we are the unveiling of Group J and J, and we have a, I have here with me one Miss who came for the program. Let me ask her how the program went and what she saw at the end of the program. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Doreen. I'm the CEO of Rennes Glitters. Rennes and Glitters. Rennes Glitters. Yeah. Okay. What is it about? And um, we do fascinators. Everything millinery. So, okay. so you came for the. Group J and J. Yes, I did. What did you see at the end of it? Um, oh, I was so excited and I'm so proud of Ikria, especially for her jewel fashion. I was so amazing. Like, I was amazed by her, her different dresses that came on stage. But was it what you were expecting when you were yes, coming? I was expecting, I was expecting just a lunch. But then when I came and I saw the wine and all that, I'm, I'm so proud of her. I'm so, so proud right, of her. Thank you for coming. Keep her up there. Okay, right, thank, thank you. you. Hello, Kobe. Yeah, How you doing? What's up? What's up, Janet? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm good, yes, sir. Chalade. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, too. Since the program started, I see, I saw you all over, like, working your ass out. Yes, um, I'm the creative director of Team J&J. &J. I, I was directing the event. You were directing the event? Yes. That's why you went successful. So, Amen. <laughs> as directing it, no. What motive was behind it? Because pe most people came not expecting to see um, clothing line or something. But we saw clothing line, some the, um, the wine. What was the motive behind it? Right. To um, yes, and Peggy Forces, the off road, the upper, and I a piano. Yes, so when my sister Equia called me for this event, she's also been supporting me in my movies all these years. So when she called me to be part of this um, winning team, it was an opportunity to move directing from screen to the stage. And we'll be doing a lot of screens with J&J &J as well. So um, I'm very happy that the first impression went well. And we really appreciate everybody who came. As you can see, we are not done. Yes, the cake is really nice. Can I have a bite of it? Like, <laughs> can I have a bite? Sure. It's nice, it's nice. So what advice would you like to give to a Kriya since you started it? I know people start but they feel like giving up. If she feels like giving up, what advice would you give to her? First of all, a very happy birthday, success in the years to come and it's, it's as simple as that. She's strong as everybody knows so she should keep on being strong. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Have you here with me Jacinta. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. You came to the group J and J company. How how is the feeling like? With what uh, you've seen up there? I'm not I, okay, I'm not new to Group J and J. I'm not new to Ikea and all her exploits and I'm happy she's been able to put this up for herself. We're all happy, it's her birthday, you know, October bonds, we rock. Do you get something from there? Why not? What did you get? <laughs> um, I had a taste of the new um, wine, Hugo Rosé. And if you know me very well, you know I love sweet wine. It's good and I think I recommend for everybody to have a taste of that wine. It is really good. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm oh, fine, thanks for you. <laughs> I'm good. I can, I can see you're really looking good. Thank you, you too. All right, so at the program, What's the one? What's one of the names that you picked from the clothing line? Hey, I can't there remember so the names. names. So there's so many, but I love the outfits. They were very lovely. So. You don't have even one in head. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I remember at that time we were chatting. <laughs> the sister confused when we were chatting. So I wasn't paying attention. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, but you yes. loved every program. I loved Everything every that came up there. It was very, so very good. The food advice? was good. The clothes to win. Oh, the food was good. Okay. So what's one advice you like to give to Ekia? Um, I love the way she's very hard working. She's keeping up. Um, she has. She's very, very. Um, her mind is, is broad. She likes to always think about big things. She dreams big, and it always comes to truth. She should keep on dreaming and never give up. She should keep on dreaming. Yes. She shouldn't give up. No, not at all. All right, thank all. you for coming. You're welcome. 
Hello, before we, we take on this show, I'd like to wish you, One TV would like to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. How is the feeling like? I'm super excited. I'm super excited because I would say this is the day the Lord has made and I am so glad. There has been so many things that should tear you down, but you seem to be a strong woman. What keeps you? Like, there's an energy. Tear me down. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's put that one aside, but you seem to be a very strong woman. Because I have God by my side. If, if God be for me, who can be against me? <laughs> so on this special day, What's been one of the motive behind this whole thing? Because it's huge. Launching, you are the merchandiser in, in Ghana right now. Yes, I hold the franchise. Franchise, sorry. Yes. So I'm actually the only person who can sell Hugo. this Hugo in Ghana. If you want to sell Hugo, then you have to get it through me. So with getting with them and opening J&J &J groups, what would they like to say to you that as hard to be like you? What I can tell them is, <laughs> they it will access something. We always talk about women empowerment. How are we empowered? Are we empowered by paying attention to the things that goes on social media? Can't we invest our time in something productive? You know, our advice is that. Instead of us investing all our time and our resources in flowing things on, med on the media that is not contributing anything to our lives, we should rather invest that time to build something better for our lives and for our kids. I mean, whatever I do, the first thing I think about is my family and my kids. My kids, they are my everything. So whatever decision I take in life, the first thing I think about is, will your kids be proud about this decision? In the next two, three years, in the next five years, when they grow up and they see these things about you, these things that you have said, these things that you have done, will they be happy to call you a mother? That is what keeps me moving. That is the only thing I think about in life. So the only way you can succeed in life is for you to know where you're coming from. Whenever you're taking any action, whenever you're taking any step in life, please look back. Look at where you're coming from. That is where, when you will know your destination. So we should look at where we're coming from and we'll know our destination. But sometimes when we start as youth, we feel like giving up. Should we? I told you I've harbored these dreams for forever. Forever. But I thought I would be able to achieve this dream somewhere in 2011 after winning Ghana's Most Beautiful because I thought I've gotten the platform to get people to help me build my dream but that dream was not realized it's been nine years nine years and here we are today at last I've gotten the opportunity to help the people I'd always wanted to help and this is a fulfillment for me this is what I call fulfillment. Yeah. I don't call cars fulfillment, houses, money. What gives me that fulfillment as a person is giving. That is my ministry. And the fact that I'm going to give back to people makes me fulfilled. Yeah. Like, we would like to ask you, how old are you? I'm 32 years, I don't lie about my age. I think I should be proud that I am 32 and I'm here. I'm 32. And being 32 and having all this, would you, do you have some people around you you like to appreciate? Like of course, a lot of people. God, he's my number one cheerleader. Mafo, my mother, my father, my sisters, my brothers, Auntie Scola, Debbie. Like that J and J team, Sister Vero, we can fight her. <laughs> oh like I have a lot of people who love me, like people who genuinely want to see me succeed, people who see a lot of things in me who are always willing to push me, you know. 
and I appreciate them so much. I am who I am today because of them. And thank my kids. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for for being on this show. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for honoring my invitation, darling. I'm grateful you came.